Hi everybody and welcome to Stardew Valley. So Stardew Valley is a farming RPG thing, kind of like uh, kind of like Harvest Moon. It's coming out on Steam tomorrow, and I thought this game looks interesting. It looks fun. It looks good. It looks like the kind of game that I would like to play on the channel. It is developed by Concerned Ape and published by Chucklefish, and it'll be out on Steam tomorrow. I don't know the price of the game. I'd imagine, you know, ten, fifteen dollars, maybe a bit more than that. But it's basically like you you farm. You know, you do stuff. I played. 30 seconds to get my head around the recording setup, so I have no idea what I'm doing, I could fuck it all up or it could be good, I don't know, but the, the kind of premise is that your grandfather, you inherit a farm from your grandfather, shit goes on, and you farm, and fight, I guess, because it's like Harvest Moon, they'll be fighting at some, so I mean, our name is Big Tam, as always, because that is my name, our farm name, favourable farm, hashtag, favourable build farm, can I, can I put a hashtag in? I can! Hold on. It doesn't like... Wait, hold on. It doesn't like use at the end. Well, hashtag favourable, that'll be, that'll be fine. Our favourite thing... Can I have some help on the favourite thing? I'm not sure. Favourite thing is a... I guess a laser pistol. All nuclear throne related, of course. I am a man who likes dogs. Um... Oh, paste. It uh, has to be exceptionally pasty because that is who I am in life. Um, what barnet do we want? What hair colour do we need? That's too bright for mine, I think. There we go, get a bit of that. So, very much Terraria-esque, you know, character creation. Reminds me of Terraria. Pixel art, especially as well. Terraria, Starbound, you know, that kind of thing. Published by the same people um, as the Starbound folks. Shirt. Oh, is that one with a skull on it? Fashionable. Ah, well, looks alright, you know, he's looking good. I think the one with the skull on it, so that the enemy knows we mean pain and agony towards them. Not a heart, that's the opposite of what I mean. No one goes in, you don't go in big with a heart on your t-shirt. No, at all. That's a lot of shirts. Variation, lads. 50. What the fuck was that? Is that a hamster on your shirt? What is shirt 69? We need to see. Wait, oh, that's beards? I was like, is that my trousers? No, it's beards. That is... I have to commend you on your... Wow, we're over 100 shots at this point. Ah, good, okay. Where's the fucking skull? Right, we'll go with the skull. Where's the beard? That'll do, I guess. I mean, the barnet is nowhere near mine. Let's, uh, let's change the hair. It's kind of, you know, it's, it looks a bit big time. <laughs> the afro, I'm going with the afro. Right, we're going to keep the intro on. And we're going to farm. We'll see what's going on. In life. I assume that's grandpa. Beard's running the family, you see. For my very special grandson. It's me he's talking about. Why has he got a, a scimitar on his wall? <laughs> I want you to have the sealed envelope, thank you. Very kind of you. Very generous. Uh huh. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Okay. Who's in bed with him? Like, I can see him in bed, but on the... To his right-hand side, it looks like someone's curled up in there. Now listen closely. Uh, there will come a day when you'll feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I know it, Grandpa. I feel it. And? Uh, and, and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. What? It's getting a bit grim. Starting to rethink my own life here. Should I get a farm? When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift of the farm. Uh huh. <laughs> Let Grandpa rest. Okay, Grandpa. So, X. X 20 years later, I guess. Oh, we're working in a call center? I understand it all too well. I'm feeling it. I've been there. Ah, uh, terminated. He's wearing a cowboy hat. He looks very happy. He's lighting his lips. <laughs> the afro! The afro's too good. I'm, I'm snapping. I don't like it. I am dreaming of water. 
Aha. Uh -huh. That mouse does not look hygienic. Ooh. I guess I have to. Yeah. Dear Big Tam, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what was what mattered in life, what mattered the most. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Hashtag favorable farm. <laughs> it's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's a perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? I certainly will. So I guess we're going to get right in about it. I thought it was a camper van for a second. The first time I seen it as well, I thought the same thing. It's a fucking bus. Wish it was a camper van, though. So I guess we're just, uh, you know, taking the bus to Stardew Valley. Where everything is green. And the birds are actually gorillas. No, it's a, it's a bird. I see. It looked a bit gorilla-esque. It looked, you know, ape-like. Semian. <laughs> I look like a dodgy drug dealer. Hello, you must be Big Tam. I can tell by the afro. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Pixel art's very nice on the, the shrubbery, on the greens. So this is as far as I've been. This is the farm. I don't know anything about how the farm works. This is hashtag favourable farm. Of course it is. Of course it fucking is. Why am I getting stressed? What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but uh, there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have cleaned it up in no time. Aye. Alright. Here you are, your new home. Thank you, Robin. It's the fella himself, Daniel Day-Lewis, and... Oh, it looks like Daniel Day-Lewis, and the, the there will be blood. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. I guess it is. It's like when I go on holiday in the summer down south, and it's like, wow, there's people from the cities in our little town. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, yes. Looks rustic. Looks fucked, to be honest, but... That's one way to see. I was thinking the same, Robin. You and me will get along. Crusty! Might be a little more apt. It's rude. That is rude. Don't listen to her big time, she's just trying to make you dissatisfied. So that you buy one of our upgraded houses. Or house upgrades. Alright. Is that for a dog? Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should be getting some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Towns people would appreciate that. Alright. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, place it in the box. Or come by during the night to collect it. I assume he means this box. Good luck. Alright. So, uh... Ah, we slept. So, go to the town. Have a swatch. This progress has been saved. Right, move with sad shift to run. Check with a right click. Got some parsnip seeds. Is there a hotkey for journal? You see 15 parsnip seeds. Uh, there's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Thank you, Mayor Lewis, you rascal. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I can move stuff around? Well, I can move stuff around. I assume I can't move this, though. Or this. I can move that, though. Up. Oh, that's fine there. Um, right. Journal is F. Okay. Introductions. Nice to introduce yourself around town. Alright, so we need to go to town and meet 26 more people. That's fine. Getting started. Want to become a farmer? You have to start with the basics. Use your hoe and till the soil. Fair enough. Then use a seed packet. 
I didn't play a lot of Harvest Moon, but I, I should be okay with this. This seems like it wouldn't be too much of a problem. Right, what we'll do? Right, our energy down here. I assume that if this runs out, we, you know, we don't die, but things would be bad. Um. Nice. What I'm going to do before we go off... Um, grab this. I'm going to, before we go into town, I'm going to plant some seeds. I feel like it would be necessary to get some shit going, you know. So we don't want to clear too much space, because if we do, our energy will go down, and then things will be tough. Big Sam won't be happy. Is that an axe? That is an axe. This is probably a decent amount of space. Um, so you see our energy is draining already. Um, right, so I need to use the hole. How many seeds have we got? About 15. One, two... Oh. Alright, this will be our first patch. So if I do... Um, Alright. See, I've, I'm a far See, I was born to farm. Fucking born for it. Never been a greater farmer in the existence of mankind. Right. What are these suckers every day until they grow them? We can sell them or eat them. Right, how much energy do we have? I will have enough to get into town, I guess. I assume that running drains your energy or like performing an action does. Let's see, does running do anything to the energy? Ah, oh, fuck, I need to get out of here. Overgrown as fuck. Right, we're getting fibers. Uh, can I see what the fibers do? Nah, alright. So let's go to town. Um, nope. Bus stop, Pelican Town. Alright. Um, I should probably get rid of whatever I have. I mean, walking into the town with an axe, swinging it about, would probably send people into a bit of mass hysteria. You know, people wouldn't be too happy. I feel like running doesn't drain your energy. Or at least I can't tell if it is. I'm trying to look to see. Nah, it doesn't. Um, so I have to meet people? Who are you? Okay. Almost! Hi! Hi, Penny. How does that advance our... Ah, see, yeah, it's good. We're not going to meet everyone in a day, are we? I'm in your house as CEO. I'm the new farmer! I just walk into your house and say hello. Is that how it works in the country? I guess it is. You're a new farmer boy, aren't you? Yes, thank Hello. You're not good enough friends with Emily to enter the bedroom? Oh, damn. Had I known, I would have, you know. Fuck. Wait, so if I, if we become friends, wink wink, we can um, we can go into their bedrooms? There's a lot more to this game than I had previously anticipated. I didn't know we'd be getting, uh, you know, down and dirty with the locals. I guess it's the same situation here. Who are you, young man? Vincent? Alright, Vinny, how's it going, my friend? Hey, stranger. You seem okay. Aha! Good. Let me talk to you. Sam, how's it going, Sam? Good to meet you, too. Right, little fella. I need you to move so I can speak to your mother. Let's meet the townspeople. Alright, Ma, how's it going? Your old Ma, Jody, how's it going? But that's okay, I'm Jody. Good. Hi, Jody. Um, so I guess we spend a bit of time. Man, we look like Bob Ross, I just realised. We're very Bob Rossy. Um, seven. Um, that was Haley's bedroom. She was the one that was in there. What about you? Are you coming out? Because I want to finish this quest, if I can. Hmm. The day is marching on. We're almost at midday. But I guess I've, I planted some veg already, so that's good. I mean, I, I could go and dig up the rest of my garden. And I assume that that would fuck. Oh, hello, sewer. I assume that that would ruin our our energy. 
All right, we're in mid day now. We'll try and meet as many of the locals as we can. There's no one home. I just walked into someone's house as if it was nothing. Hmm. I wonder if this leads to. Do you count as a person from the town? Who are you? I've been expecting them, and whose arrival has sparked many conversations. I'm Elliot. Little cabin by the beach. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, Elliot. Might need you for some fishing advice, perhaps. Ah, fish! It's the fish shop. Gone fishing, I'll be back tomorrow. You dirty bastard. You! Well, at least we know someone isn't excited to see me. Right, let's assume that I need to dig through this shit to get in there. What is this? Hmm. I do something with that. That is an interactable thing. I can tell by the... I've got a muscle! Common bivalve that often lives in clusters. Can I eat the muscle? Hmm. I'm sure there's something I can do with it, but... Ah well. Let's not cry over found muscles. Oh, we've got 500 currency. Um, I would like to meet more. I've been in there before, haven't I? Who are you? Are you Sam? Or whatever the name Vincent? So I can't talk to you? What? Nah, I've been here before. But, yeah. Can I steal their mail? <laughs> if they had mail, I could. Alright, well, the town's. Oh, hello, cows. We got cows? Of course we do. Farmers. Got anything you want? Can I fill. Wait, hold on. How does this work? Can I fill this up here? No. I guess not. Oh, wait. What? Oh, hello. If I press E, oh, <laughs> I can fuck a lot of people, I think. Um, interest at crafting? Oh, shit. Okay. Wow, there is a lot more. Auto run, yes, please. Um, always show tool hit location? Seems good to me. Um... Oh, I'm looking at the fire. Oh, no, we don't want to do that at all. Items shipped. Interesting. So I guess this is what we can do. And you can also level up. How very fucking cool. I guess I need to unlock more space in my inventory by doing stuff. It's locked only layers. Friends can enter. Fair enough. Okay, we've got auto run on. That's a very good feature. Interesting. Hello. Ah. Okay, Haley. I get it. I understand. When Big Tam's not wanted. When Bob Ross isn't wanted. Right, there's nobody living over here. Why would anyone live over here? Let's get back to the main area. Who are you? Excuse me. Jazz. Hi. Hello to you. Let's go and see what's going on with the cows. I mean, maybe we'll be able to set up some sort of... Fuck. Shit! Why can't I open your door? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we can sort some sort of cow situation out. Marnie! How's it going, Marnie? I'm Marnie. Good to meet you. I'm never going to meet everyone, am I? At this point, it's almost an impossibility. We're at 4pm. I've wasted half my day fucking about here. Let's go back home. And uh, see what's going on. Maybe clear a bit of the garden. Where did I get seeds from? There must be like shops. Where the fuck are the sh Who are you? Oh, you, Jody, I've spoke to you already. I spoke to you, Vincent, you little fucker. Who's this scary bastard? Harvey! Hello, Harvey. The local doctor? Aha. Uh -huh. You'll be useful. Where are the shops? Where's, like, all the stuff? 
fucking play park? I don't need a play park. That has to be a shop. Anything with a fucking... It's locked. Of course it is. Can I just take the shovel? Man, I really want that shovel. Um, well, I can't take the shovel. Right. Up there's not going to be anything. That doesn't make any sense. Let's look at the map. General store. Yes, yes, yes. That's where I want to go. I want to see what our situation on seeds is. Um, so that we can plant more shit and grow more shit and sell more shit and be more rich. That's the name of the game here. Make some money. Don't even make it as if it's, uh, you know, a spiritual looking for oneself thing. I'm getting in here to make some money out of these people. Nothing is posted today. I see. High quality seeds. Only up PRs. I knew it. I knew it. PR fucking show show seeds, you bastard. Get them out. It's Mr. Big Tam. Of course it is. The new farmer on PR. Owner of the local, uh, the local general store. Shop is a place to go. I'll also buy produce from you at a good price. Nice. So, backpack upgrade. Um, I guess that's not something I need. Oh, so each thing is an individual... Wait, what? I think there's parts of this that I don't understand quite fully yet. So it's a backpack upgrade that I can't buy. And then... Tend to the shop, you fuck! Why not tend to the shop? Could really inject new life into the... Uh, yes, the local... Speaking of the local economy, someone wants to buy shit off you, big man. You're not Pierre's best pal, so get the fuck out of his... Oh, wait, Abigail? Is that you, then? I am? Oh, you're Caroline? Hello. I mean, we're fairly getting around. 7pm. It just... Wait, what the fuck is this? Place of worship. Oh, he's going... Where? I guess he's finished for the day. Maybe I need to come at, like, lunchtime. Right. I'll be back to speak to you. Man. Right, how are we doing? 13 of 28. That's not bad for a first day. We've met a few people. You know, we've got around. We've seen some things. I know where to buy my seed. Which is good. Right, how did we... Did we come this way? Yes. Alright. A good time to go home. Um, so you have to water the seeds once per day. I'm pretty sure. This is probably a good time to... Mm. Yeah, they're wet. So the fibre... Um, used from... Alright. We still got a bit of energy, so I might as well cut some stuff down. Have a good gander at what's going on. Alright. Let's get to bed. Let's start a new day. Let's see if we can get some more stuff going on. I want to go back and see what's going on with our with our seeds. Yes. So how does that do for our energy? Progress has been saved. That's a good thing. Energy's full. Watering can not full. Um, we got some mail. Uh, just back from fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Awesome, Willy. Fucking me and you, Willy. We'll be best of pals. Wait, let's give these a water. I guess I need to fill my watering can at the water. Like you do in any game like this. What we'll do is when we've got time, we'll start collecting more wood and stuff and make some paths. Make it all nice and pretty. Right, how do I, do I fill this here? I do! Yes, good, 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 good. Right, let's go to town then! In fact, um... Shit. So if I put that in there, do I sell it and I get money for it? I'm guessing the answer's yes, but we'll see. Right, we'll go down the waterfront and see what's going on then. I guess what we'll do is... We'll, wait, hold on. What have I missed? Oh yeah, go to the beach. 
Set the time before 5 p.m. I'm early. I'm an early riser. 7.20 and I'm out and about. I'm saying hello. Um, I want to go swing by P Pierre's and see if he's got any fucking seeds for me. So we can start this... Start this off well. 9 a.m., you lazy bastard. Get the... Wait, hold on. If the saloon's open, I'm going to be pissed. Is everywhere open at 9? 12? Dog. I have to see in here. Opening what? It's a caravan! I don't understand. <laughs> Opening time for this caravan is 9pm. Is this the right way? Um, yes. We'll assume that this is the right way. Ah, he looks as grizzled as I am. How's about a fishing rod then, Willie? Ahoy there, son! Heard there was a new coming in town. Good to finally meet you. Alright. What you got for me then? So I went from a month out on the salty seas. <laughs> it was a big haul. Sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. You're gonna get me the old one? Wait to have my old Oh, you're a good man, Willie. It's important to me that you have uh, the artificial seas of seas alive. Something buy something from the shop once in a while? Fucking certainly. So I've got a fishing rod. That's awesome. That's gonna really help. I got a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Good to hear it. Glad to hear it. So it's back open now, so come by if you need some supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. So my old papa used to say. Right, so uh Do I need a boat to do that? Right, fucking let's get a shot at this then. Nice. How do I know when it's Oh god. Oh no. Oh! Oh! What am I doing? So I need to click to... Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I can't try to keep the bar on the fish. I caught a fish! A sardine. I'll take a sardine all day. I bet that savages my um my energy. Let's do one more. Fuck it. I've got time for one more. Oh, balls. Okay, what we got? What we seen? What we seen? I think I'm meant to keep the bar on the fish. Hi. Two sardines. Not bad. Let's sell these to Willie and get ourselves back home. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> William, my friend, what's going on? Um, oh, so you can buy? So that's um, a bamboo bamboo pole and then you can buy a trout soup. So it gives you energy, it gives you health. Seems useful. Um, oh, we made some money. First fucking money, yo. Right, we've still got half the town to, to visit and the parsnips to get onto. Willie, I'll see you later on, my friend. You keep it cool over here. What am I doing? <laughs> Just carrying shrubbery above my head. Hmm. 300 pieces of wood. It's a lot of wood. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Am I? Oh, this cold. I wish it would go away. Having a cold sucks. My nose is now very tingly. Who have I not seen so far? Have I seen you? I'm sure I've been in here before. Have I? Oh, you're the mayor. All right, man. How's your first night in the, the old cottage? It was good. Aye. Not bad. All right. I'll leave you to it then. Well, I was going to say Wilson. <laughs> Lewis. Not Wilson. Spoke to you before. Is there any... 
trying to zoom into the map to see if there's anything I can see right uh Oh, I've not been there yet. Blacks oh, there's a blacksmith's fuck. We're right, we need to go that way and just see what it's like. Just for a quick swatch. So, our previous employer and a blacksmith? Alright, so we're going to meet some more people. Gunther? <laughs> Gunther, how's it going? Um, it's the Office of Agriculture. Made off with the entire collection, so we don't have any artifacts for display. Hoping you'll remedy that soon. Alright. There's a book missing here. I see that. You fuckers been stealing books? No, it's Venny. How's it going? Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can play. Alright. I spoke to you. Wait, you're Miss Penny? You look tiny. You look like a little kid. Uh, they're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. It certainly is. I guess this is where we display all of our stuff. When we, you know, collect it, or grow it, or do our stuff. Alright. Well, I'll leave you to your lessons, I guess. So we're, we're meeting people, you know, we're getting stuff done. Right, this must be the blacksmiths, surely. Alright, big fella. Um, oh, oh, that's expensive. All right. Um, what about shop? What do you have? Oh, you've got ore. Interesting. So you've got ore and coal. That's worth uh, keeping an eye on. Metalwork blueprints. Can I not steal them? No. Wait. So how many townspeople do we? Have I still only greeted fourteen? I guess shopkeepers don't count. Or Miss Pennies don't count. Well, the bollocks. Where's the Jojo Mart? Oh, what a vapid, horrible place. Who is this guy? Morris? How are you doing today? Don't believe we went. I'm Morris? The satisfaction representative? Okay. Make your transition is a joyous experience. I, I can't help but feel that these fuckers are going to be part of the issue. Does he count as a person? He doesn't! Fuck him! What about this guy? Doesn't seem interested in talking. Does that count? It does! Good. Solid play. Can I axe your vegetables, you bastards? Right, well this place is too clinical and cold and horrible. Let's just fucking- wait, can I speak to you though? Oh, I can buy stuff? Oh, I can buy seeds. Ooh. Um, I really don't want to fund these fuckers. I want to go to the... Uh, let's go back to the guy. What was his name? Fuckface? Uh, Seedman? Pam! Hi, Pam. What was his name again? Pierre! Fucking Pierre. Where's your seeds, you bastard? Have I spoke to you? Alex? No, I haven't. You're the new guy. Cool, huh? We're getting there. We're seeing people. The saloon has to have people in there. We'll check here first. We're getting we're getting a good scene of all of the places. It's a proper saloon, yo. I just want to speak to you, my friend. Why are you making it awkward for me? <laughs> Why are you making it difficult for me? I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Very nice to meet you. Does that count as a meeting someone? It does. Ten more to meet. We're getting there. It'll take us a few days probably to get everyone seen, swatched, and spoken to, but. Challenge I'm willing to accept. He says he's at the shop, fucking Lewis. Right. We've got parsnip seeds already. Bean starter. Pardon. Plant these um in the spring. Plant these in the spring? Alright. Do they have anything that's not spring? Bears, bears fruit in the spring? What? Oh, it bears, it gives, I was going to say what, it fruits bears, what? Um, so this must be the spring. Surely. I feel like we should do the next logical thing, which is potatoes, because potatoes are a staple of everyone's fucking life. Beans, no. Cauliflower, no. Tulips, no. I mean, tulips, maybe. Kale, 
jazz seeds. I'm going to buy some potato seeds. And probably... Hmm, we'll do some cauliflower as well. Well, let's get back home and start planting these suckers. Oh, wait, what's going on in there? That's a lot of people to meet. Hello, ladies. What's going on? I spoke to you already, Jody. Get out of my sight. Emily, good. Very good. Nice to meet you. Marnie, I've seen you before. I'm all red and sweaty. Pardon. I know you already, ladies. Oh, fucking. Wasting my time. Bob Ross is not happy. He needs to get on about his day. <laughs> that afro. Just the gliding through levels. If you seen an afro like that gliding through a shop, you'd be, you know, you'd turn. Here to see the doctor? Not really, I'm here to see you, nurse. Hello. <laughs> Hello, nurse. Um, so you're the one that moved in. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. Oh, there's an old lady I can probably meet. Just bust in. All right, old lady, how's it going? And Evelyn, you wrinkly old bugger, how's it going? Is it an emergency? Why are you here? No, it's fine, it's alright. I just wanted to say hi to... Look, seven people to go. I'd say that's a success. Let's get our horses back home. Plant a bit of seeds. We've got our fishing rod in tow. It's going to be a longish episode to start, probably because of the intro. I think we'll be able to get two days per episode. Roughly, I'd say. Seems like the right thing. Um, so let's begin. Um, how many of these do you get? Is that just the one seed? Am I... Did I just buy one seed? I think I bought one seed, lads. <laughs> I think I made a booby. Right, hold on. No, no, no. Fuck. Can I get rid of that? I, I can? Okay. Right, let's hoe with purpose. There we go. One of those. I'm making a larger plot of land than I need necessarily. Wait, hold on. Does this is it, does I seriously just buy one seed? I did. I bought one seed. I'm an idiot. I'm a straight up. Well, you know this already, lads. Let's let's be honest now. No one's. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Um, let's clear a bit a bit more space. Let, let's actually have let's explore. Hold on. I've, I have this space and I'm not even fucking looked. What there is. Ooh. Um, a little bit of everything here, plant them to see what grows. I wonder mm -hmm. if, if by farming you gain seeds from the, the crops. Like, I'm pretty sure Harvest Moon done that. Um, I'm fairly certain we should get crops back for farming. Plus, if we do this, we may actually find some more seeds to plant in our second plot. Let's not drain our energy, though. But if we cut through all this shit, it gives us like a nice starting place for the next episode. What the fuck is this? It's a cave here as well, yo. More seeds, nice. What the fuck is this? Uh, wherever this once was, it's now in ruins. Well, that's a project for another day. This is going to be like straight up DIY. There's absolutely something behind that. I must know what it is. Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. Wait, what? Grandpa, you spooky bastard, what are you talking about? Wait for my return on the dawn of the third fucking year? Is this fucking Lord of the Rings, you Gandalf? Um, I think I shouldn't be here yet. Not really much I can do. What's that? Hmm. This will have stuff. Maybe I get like a, a big pickaxe <laughs> to get through this ship. What's up here? Is this all my land? Because if it is... Oh, wait, what's that? That is a leak. Alright, we found a leak. What is this? Who are you? Hello. 
Sebastian, who are you? Uh, you just moved in. Cool. Who the fuck are you? Alright. Do they count towards the thing? They do. Nice. Well, let's get back. We'll plant the other mixed seed. Probably put the leak into sell so we've got some more money. And then in the next episode, I guess we'll buy more seeds and start, you know, planting the farm properly. But Bob Ross is off to a flying start, I feel. He knows what he's doing. He's happy. He's in a controlled environment. Doing what he loves. Doing what he knows best. Farming. He has no idea how to farm. But this is the, the beauty of, of farming, you know. Learning. The learning process. And they're much easier to handle, plants are, than uh, slime, for instance. If I was to ranch some slime, it'd be a, a completely different ordeal altogether. They are the same as what they are, so they are parsnip. No. That's a potato. It's a cauliflower. So that's two potato. And uh Is that parsnip? Maybe? I'm not sure. At 8 p.m. Hold on. Stop watering the fucking thing. Pop that in there as well. Oh, I got coal? Hey, fuck that. We'll go in. I guess we'll sleep and this will be the end of the episode. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff. And I will see you next time.